backstage with Thug Rose, your main event winner, submitted Paige Van Zandt in the fifth round. Before we even get to the finish, holy crap, that was an insane fight. Tell me about your thoughts. I know it just happened, so you probably need to go watch the fight, but from what you can remember, what do you recall? Um, just uh, keep my breathing under control and just make sure that I don't um, get overly excited. You know, I was just keeping keeping my emotions calm and just trying to stay in the moment. Don't be don't be complacent, but at the same time, just keep control, stay calm. You never relented. When submissions weren't working, it wasn't like you stopped trying to submit her or your, with your stand-up. You were never yeah. trying to not knock her out. I mean, you were always going for the kill. Um, your corner said, don't try for the finish. It will come. Yeah. Um, is that advice that you needed to hear at that point? Do you feel like at, at some points in the fight you were maybe trying a little too hard? Yeah, especially in the middle. I was kind of like, Ugh, like it's right there, but just a little bit. If I push a little bit harder, maybe it'll be there. But um, that was the best advice in my corner was just to pull it back a little bit and just, just be patient. It's going to come. And if it doesn't come, then I'm winning anyway. So why, why burn myself out? Exactly. Um, talk to me about Paige and how she is as a competitor as your corner celebrates behind you. Um, really, what were your expectations of her coming into this fight and then what ended up playing out with her? Yeah, everybody kept asking me about her hype and everything like that. And, um, like, I think she deserves every hype that she gets, or all the hype that she gets. So I knew she was going to come in here really just tenacious and really ferocious and never stopping, you know. Um, even with a little blood on her face, she's a fighter. She's a pretty girl, but she's a fighter. And um, I didn't underestimate her, and I knew that that was going to happen. I knew uh, technically I'm superior, but I just got to be mentally superior as well. So I knew that, and, um, and that helped me get through it. You talked about calming your breathing and make sure you were just slowing things down. How much was cardio a factor in this? Because you took it on late notice, and this was a five-round fight. Um, yeah, I definitely was, like, worried about that the whole time, like um – Especially like the last week of my training camp, there were so many emotional things going into my um, my personal life that it was really hard to push that back. And um, I just had to keep training so hard and at the same time dealing with that. And um, the last week of training camp, I, I kind of pulled it back a little bit and like was slower than, than normally my training camps were. So I was kind of like self-conscious about my conditioning. But I knew um, it's all in the head. You know, I knew if I control my breathing, I'm fine. I did the work, you know. I, I don't need to always constantly push it above and beyond. Like I know everything and I can do it. Do you feel like you proved something with this fight um, coming off of the Ultimate Fighter loss? Obviously, you had fights in between that. But, you know, that was a big stage, and here you were on a big stage again, and you absolutely dominated a fight. Um, do you feel a little bit of relief now that you were able to do that? Yeah, I don't know necessarily, like... Um it's weird. Like, I know that I was capable of this, but then, like, you don't necessarily know if you're going to crack um, under the pressure um, until you go through it. And so, I, yeah, I did prove a lot to myself, necessarily. I know that probably I have to go back and watch the fight to see exactly um, how it looked, but I know I felt amazing. So um, it was really just a com confidence booster for myself. Absolutely. You're ranked number three in the world. There's very few people ahead of you. So obviously it's tough to say, oh, I, I want to call somebody out because there's very few. But... Would you like to fight again soon? Um, I want to take some time, you know. Uh, th this was a quick turnaround, so yeah. I want to take some time. I'm not going to rush into anything. And um, maybe, you know, maybe the, the it'll be another quick turnaround. But as of right now, I want at least a month off before I even think about another fight. So, um, yeah, and as for, for who's next, you know, obviously the title shot is, is really, I'm, everybody wants me to fight for the title, and I want to fight for the title too, but I also want to make sure I'm ready. So there's, um, I felt like I could be a little more comfortable in the stand-up in that fight, so I just want to work on that a little bit, and then we'll come back to that question. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you got a great camp in Colorado to work with. Holidays coming up. I'm sure you want to go celebrate those. Um, what's a big goal for you for 2016 as it approaches? I want to buy a house, so, you know, I don't know, any bonuses or anything like that, you know, come my way. Um, that would be nice. I, I would be surprised house. if you did not get fight of the night. I think <laughs> everyone in this room in yeah. arena would be shocked. So hopefully you'll get that, and it's a nice house down payment yeah. for you. That would be awesome. I, I know the crowd was cheering, and I, I'm, I'm glad I was able to put on a show. Well, you definitely did. Congratulations. I was calling you the thuggish, ruggish rose. So that's it. Thug rose, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.